You're welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we keep it 100, like I always tell you guys. Yes, and yes, when I say keep it 100, we have a super duper personality in the studio. Hello, this guy, I? you really don't want to oh, know who this guy is. Hello. because You know, he's one of the new... Hmm, New additions to the DMW band. Oh. Yeah, he also is also signed to the um, O M W. Yes, you know. Yes, yeah, so there's something they say: consistency, uh, the key codes required of a creative to crack in order to guarantee success in their endeavors. As easy as it sounds, this has been a pursuit with barely all its elements achieved by our new generation talents in their music sphere. This is simply put that nobody has it all going except for a few rare ones in the ordained direction. These guys ordained. You would long know that Fase Williams. I hope I got that right. Fase Williams Oluwashola. Popularly known as Anyon Fair of David Ocom Obama Music Worldwide, DMW or MW, unlocked these gems in his flourishing career. It brought the public's attention at no currency other than the viral effect one of his musical clips had on Instagram. Anyon Fair finessed further expectations of his debut single released on April 2020 titled Pretend. You guys saw that at the beginning of the show. It succeeded this feat by getting signed into the most solid record label on the block. And if I do say so myself, trust me, it is for real. DMW, OMW, and your fair finesse for the expectation on this double C single pretend and got another sonorous sound titled African Vibe. And that has been some vibe for like, you know, since the lockdown, we'll be vibing and vibing and it's been some African thing going down. And yeah, the track was produced by K Dreams and video directed by Dami Twitch and he did a great job at that. And your fair takes a step further in the game with yet another melodious track featured featuring Mayo Kun titled What's Going On. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am fair to the T and table and hey. let's all ask him what's going on brother what's going on? <laughs> how you I'm doing good. Man? how I'm you good. doing how I'm you good. doing I'm first good. of all have you ever heard anyone say that you look like a zulu man a Zulu man, yes. like a South African yes. man. Yes, yes. you have. Yes, <laughs> yes. They told the, you that. yes, yes. because there is an indigenous um, race that have strong features. They're mm -hmm. one of the first earliest human race or whatever. Yeah, and they have a distinct feature. You look exactly like, like that. Them. So you need to you, your person to explain to you what's going on. I there. feel like <laughs> what's going on. But, but guess what? You know, the first time I heard your voice, I was like, man, this girl is. Dope. I ain't gonna lie. Like, You've heard that before as well, right? A girl. I yeah, I told, me yeah if the first, without seeing he's the video. Pretty. Yeah. He's, he's a it's pretty not, boy. It's not his face. I said without seeing his face, oh, just his, his voice, voice. The moment right. you listen to his song, you'll be like, man, that me. girl is so dope. <laughs> then you're not seeing, you now discover that he's a guy. you be like, <laughs> ah, follow she shit. And now that he's not in the studio, I can hear how thick his voice is like, his yeah, yeah. oh, they tell me that. Yo, they tell me that. And the guy is singing. It was, yeah. And I'm like, dude, what's going on? How do you do that? The mm. singing voice is always different from the uh, talking voice. Yeah. You know, it's like you you are in that zone at that mm. particular yeah. time. It's like when, if I want to sing for you now, like, this is the African way. You see that your ways cannot go to waste. Okay. Okay. But look at what you think about waste. <laughs> but it's different, like, if, I'm, if I want to talk, you know, mm. so it's like, we're always in that zone yeah. when you know but did you train for that like your your vocals are quite you know for no offense to the men but especially for a man like you're not playing around with your vocals mm. so is that something that just came naturally you just woke up and you could do that or were you training for that yeah uh, there was no training nice. i i like mm. it's just talent i feel okay yeah. did you do choir did you do yeah okay. you know i grew up in church you mm. know church. Teenage choir. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Choir. So I'll, I would like to get a little bit controversial because I know Obama is one of the most controversial <laughs> members of the DMW. <laughs> that, guy, <laughs> that guy has caused so much problem. He has called out anybody and everybody. <laughs> but the guy is still standing. And yes, guys, for this greatness again. You know, how does it feel being signed to someone like that? You yeah. know, somebody that you know can cause trouble for I, you. I say. <laughs> but trust me, like, it's more different. Mm. on the mm. inside you know it's the person you people see on the outside yeah. is not the person he is on the inside mm. you know mm. you, when you get to meet him you discover it's not it's not like it's a soft it's it, 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 just the man that has <laughs> principles you understand yeah. and i feel like when you have principles in life it just makes you to be able to go buy your yeah. daily stuff, yeah. you know. But you know, guess what? It's okay to be a gangster and a gentleman. Yeah. It's always okay. He's a classic gangster. Yeah. I, you know, okay. I so how did a classic gangster classic now man. meet you? Like, how how did that journey start? That like you now ended up being a signee? And I mean, that's a huge deal. I mean, a lot of people would kill for your opportunity. Yeah. 
it was it was God at first, but okay. it, there was also a connection. Mm. It okay. could have been anybody right. else, you know. Mm. He could have chosen anybody else, but mm. he, he chose me. I guess it was. God. How did you plant yourself there? Who planted you there? I think it was God a risky planted video. me it there. Was a risky <laughs> cover. You yeah, did, it was right? a risky cover. I did. Right. Yeah. yeah, it was a risky cover. I did. So yeah, of course he saw that he hollered you. But did you know him before, prior mm. to that time of the risky cover? Never. Mm. You've never met Obama. I, I do I I never knew any anybody in the end of the year mm. before that time. Prior. Nice. And I can remember when you got signed to DMW as well, um, there was a statement or there was a caption that David O put out there, like, the team is getting bigger and mm -hmm. stronger. Mm -hmm. So he saw you as a solid yeah. member mm -hmm. of the team. How does that make you feel, you know, knowing that you be, your addition to the team is actually something yeah. that makes them feel like, ah, we don't get with. Um, I, I feel like it's a pressure. Mm. It just makes me want to do more. Mm. Because uh, if they see me as a potential, I need to prove to them that I'm a big yeah, potential Yeah, yeah, well. like there's oil on your Do you head. understand? Mm. So yeah. that is it. So it just makes me want to keep working till I get to that point where he can boldly say, oh, you see I am fair, no worry. But, you know, okay, go on. <laughs> what go on. is the inspiration that fuels your sound? Because your sound is really, I mean, you don't do the regular sound. Yeah. Sound. So what what's what's fueling that? Because obviously, like you said, there's pressure to even always deliver. So yeah. my culture actually. Okay. I'm Yoruba. I grew up with my grandparents. So mm. there's this part of me that always wants to infuse the uh the old culture mm. into the new. Nice. <laughs> you know, guess nice. what? Now like now that, that you've spoken about culture, there's no better way than to introduce the African vibe video. Yeah. Let's see that real quick and we'll continue this conversation with Iron Fest. Salute. <laughs> Welcome back, and of course, Ayon Fair is still in the garden. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on, bro? That, yeah, man, that was a so, dope yes. video, man. Yeah, it was. Thank you. It was. Thank I mean, you. you're not Dami playing Dami Twitch did a great job. He did. <laughs> I like to feel that boy has favoritism sometimes. Like, some of his videos would just be like, oh my gosh, like, what is like? You brought vision or, or mm -hmm. life to that song. Yeah. But I want to know about the lyrics. I mean, the lyrics is very romantic mm -hmm. and kind of like soft romance like most yeah. of the time when people do romance here it's like i'll do this to you in the bedroom i'll mm. nah, 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 i want to nah. put you in the position <laughs> 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 well yours was really soft and it kind of made it more nice like mm -hmm. i can i can see how girls we eat this mm. song up <laughs> but is that like you in your personal life as well like are you also that pg and modest Mm. Yeah, I, I I can say. Mm. You look down. <laughs> I'm okay, like, I'm trying to find So it's okay. Stay with your phone check. Uh, uh, like, uh, I'm a gentleman. Uh, 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 a, co uh, a complete one of that. Mm. It's not honestly. It's not when it's definitely mm. lying. No, it's lying. It's it's lying. lying. No, it's definitely lying. Mm. Go on. Mm. Trust me, I'm not a heartbreaker. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. but now, obviously your your personal life has changed. Deeply yeah, definitely. Since, since that, I want to know about the women. Obviously, you're young. You're yeah, so you know, there's all of that. Obviously, the way women were treating you before that would be very different now. Obviously. Do you, is there any fear about that? Like, you might not find, you know, someone, yeah. you're not even Who's looking. Who's real with you, for real? Yeah, like, well, you know, I'm not, that? I'm not concentrating on that right now. Okay. So like, what's your focus right now? And he said he's not a heartbreaker. It's hey, just music. And you're fair. But you definitely know that in as much as you're not focusing on that, there are a lot of ladies that are being misled and they are focusing on you. You are the focus. And you're allowing them to focus on you. I'm allowed to be focused on because I'm like, I'm, I'm the point of reference. She okay. <laughs> go on, go on. You, you understand? Like, I'm allowed to be focused on because I'm the point of reference. Mm. Right. So it is different when... I, I pop into the DMs right. and like, yo, I like you, no. Okay, so, so that, that But if you pop into my DM yeah. and I, I and I reply you like, Befum, yo, Befum, thank, Befum, you, thank you, yeah. thank you for liking my stuff. <laughs> I support, thank you for support. Yeah. Keep supporting me. Right. Thank you for being a great fan. That's it. That's what it is. Like, thank you in room three or six or. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Olofa. <laughs> Olofa, go. But at the, at the end of the day, right, music is something that you do with a lot of passion because mm. you can definitely hear that in your voice. And yeah. I can just imagine what your studio session is mm. like. Yeah. I can just imagine <laughs> the amount of work you put into yeah, that. Yeah. And of course, being signed to DMW, OMW, is mm -hmm. definitely a lot of pressure, which you have definitely stated, and it makes you want to get better. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, how would you say that has changed your life, especially your being your personal being not just the music aspect of you because i know you put a lot of work mm -hmm. how has that changed you personally mm. as i am faith yeah you see getting fame mm. is different from when you have money right do you understand you can have fame and not have money mm. and you can have money mm. and not be famous yeah, true. you see 
the fame, I think I'm just growing into the fame. Mm. Mm. I'm not trying to rush anything. True. Yeah, I'm growing into the fame. So I'm taking my time so that I myself can't. I want people to witness the growth that, okay, mm. from this stage, I unfair went to this stage. Mm. From this stage, I unfair went stage. to this stage. You know, the way everybody witnessed Justin Bieber grow. Mm. Do you know that when I first heard your song, Justin Bieber was walking to my head? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, mean, I don't I do want to say because I don't. I know people don't like comparisons, but mm -hmm. it feels like what you're serving us is what Justin Bieber served in the beginning of his journey. Right. First of all, you, you disseminate the whole masculine whatever because mm -hmm. you don't do the typical... Uh, no offense to men now, I'm sorry. No, no, fine, but you don't, do, you don't do the typical male toxic stuff, mm -hmm, right? Yeah. And then your voice is also really soft mm -hmm. and your lyrics is meaningful and in-depthful. Mm -hmm. You look the part as well, which yeah. was everything that Justin Bieber had. Mm -hmm. And obviously we watched him grow now into something else. He's not, he's not baby baby anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I feel like that's going to happen with you exactly. as well with, and so, your sound and all of that. But I want to know about like your your progression now, mm -hmm. right? So now, you know, you're giving it a lot of, of vibe and I'm worried because the last person we had that fit that category was Whiskid. Okay. okay, he's going to eat me and every other oh, Whiskid wow. is going to eat me, but I'll see what I want to say. Okay, go on. When he first started, it was like that. It was like a lot of passion. The songs were nice. <laughs> and then it just, your swag, I guess the ego and the money and the fame was beginning to up your shoulders. We just feel like the passion starts to die down a bit. Right, more. right. Do you think right. that's going to happen with you? And I want you to say it now. What's so that going in, on in a few you? years, when you cast, if you cast, I'll bring this video to you. That's why I have people like Obama. Hmm. Do you feel me? Spicy. Do you understand? You can always call me to order at every point in time. It's like a father figure, mm. the same way he's like um, a big brother and a friend. We talk as friends, but there are times when you see, you always need people like that yeah. to put you right. on, on track. track. Yeah. Do you understand? Okay. When you fuck up, they can slap you. <laughs> so I, 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 I admire where you're coming from because um, it was she, it was, she couldn't help it. She yeah. had to drag whiskey into our conversation. Our uh, peaceful <laughs> conversation. I feel you. Conversation that we don't have fights anymore. <laughs> she wants to destroy it. I feel but you. But not let that. Mm -hmm. But how do you feel, you know, when people bring this comparison, like, oh, the David, oh, the whiskey, and your fair Joe boy, and mm. your fair this one. How, how do you think you're going to be able to deal with that? Because definitely it's inevitable. You saw yeah. it happen right here before your very before. Mm -hmm. It happened. So how are you going to handle it for yourself? The fans always have to do it. Mm. Definitely. Do you understand? And that's what keeps the game alive. Yeah. yeah. If it doesn't happen, how is the game going to be alive? It's, it's mm. everything will be boring. So it's not about it's not about if they have a beef or not. They are two great people mm. doing well on their own. Do you mm. understand? But I feel like if the fans don't banter and don't try to like fight themselves. They're not doing something right. They're not doing something mm. right, definitely. So, okay. Is yeah, there any so. collaborations we should be looking out for? Obviously, a lot. Give us spill names. This is obviously. A lot. I, 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 <laughs> the only one I'm going to give you is my boss himself, David. Okay. Yeah, I have him, I have him on my EP. Oh, shit. <laughs> Coming for... Uh, title, title of the song. I won't tell you. We <laughs> spill. No, we spill. You must tell us title. You have to spill title, something. Give us something title. exclusive. We're not saying sing the song. Mm -hmm. Just tell us what's the for song you. title. For, for you. you. Yeah. Not just you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> for you, so... You heard it here first. Yeah. It's, I your fair David O for you. Yeah. Just for you guys. So, <laughs> Yeah. It's it's a, a, blend, a blend of, like I said, I like to mix sound. Mm. So it's a blend of like my traditional sound mm. as a Yoruba guy with, you know, you, so you can imagine how great it sounds. Yeah. Right? All right. On, on um, what's it called now? African vibe. You had, um, you know, the Ama piano sound going yeah. on. And yeah, you work with my brother, um, Fresh. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, Fresh worked mm -hmm. on that one too. Now, Ama piano is a sound that has really not been exploited so much. And not well, a lot of people really kill it like that. Exactly. But you did a great job with it. Are you, does that have anything to do with your sound? Is that the type of sound you want to project to us? Or you're just being versatile? Um, you see, when it comes to music, you have to be able to conquer your territory first. Mm. Do you understand? So I'm not trying to conquer Nigeria alone. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to conquer Africa. Africa. Mm. So, and one of the uh, sounds that, y as, an, as, a, as, as a singer, I feel like you need to know how to speak first is Swahili, because mm. it's widely yeah. True. It's one of the most True. known mm. in Africa. Do you understand? Like one of the most, pop most uh, spoken, language. most popular, uh, spoken popular language. So like, that's why I try to infuse Swahili in my song, so that Smart. when it comes to the East um, Africa, they can digest it well and mm. they can be a market for me as well over there. Mm. So basically, I, I won't say it's pure strategy, but at the same time, it's just me 
trying to conquer Africa. Africa. All right, so we actually <laughs> run it out of time. Thank of you. course, I cannot say for those of you that have not heard about your fair, because if you have not heard about your fair, you're you you <laughs> definitely sleeping on your bicycle. On a long yes, thing. I are sitting on a long thing. Yes, yeah. So you definitely, a lot of people still want to know where can they find your yeah. music? You know, where can they follow you on social media? What's mm. up with you? We, we didn't even we get, expecting, Okay, no, yeah. before we even get there, let's <clears throat> talk about what's going on as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the new record that dropped like three weeks ago. Yeah. And yeah, that's been like a big cheer and for and EP as well. When is that coming out? Um, like yeah, you know, we just want you to like, feed us yeah. all the information we can in one night. <laughs> yeah, present your present present <laughs> time. Expect, yeah. the, time expect the EP like yeah. very soon. How was what's that? Like what you know, is that? Like, like, today, like very soon. Tomorrow, no, like, like, like I don't want to give you a particular time, but like very soon, like this first quarter of the what's year. What's your PR? They've changed you to <laughs> you need to give us names, numbers, <laughs> figures. The first quarter of the year. Okay. The first quarter okay. of the year. Yeah. Before the like that. before the first quarter of the year, the okay. EP will be out. Then what's going on? Tell us about that too. Are there uh, figures on your on your song? On the EP. She's particular about that. She's I am. So be yeah, careful. you people be careful how you answer like that. that question. But like I, I like I have That's a couple of females. On my songs, like a list female artist okay. on, on my songs already, so don't, don't, don't <laughs> be, be rest assured. <laughs> so, what's going on is a tune, trust me, like is I'm a piano and it's different because mm. I still had to infuse Swahili. Mm. In it, is that your by inside it? No, the bass on Mutu Nacheza Usiku Aleyo. Okay, the bass on Mutu Nasonga Usiku Aleyo. Zuluman. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, it's in his blood. Yeah. It's come to find me. I swear, it's come right? To find you, right, go on, go on, go so, on. So yeah, so I had to invite. That means um, smile and dance with me tonight. I wasn't teaching you that. Um, I have, I have, I have like a brother. You know Nabgino. Mm. That produced Femme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so he, he, I think he's a little bit versatile in Swahili, mm -hmm. but I, I still take online classes nice. as well. Nice. So mm -hmm. it just right. makes it, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't make a mix. <laughs> you do I'm honestly. about this thing, more. I like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Alrighty. so. And social wanna, media handles, yeah. where can they find yeah, you? Yeah, you can add me on Instagram at Ionfair Official, A Y A N F E Official. Mm. Then right. on Twitter at Ionfair underscore official, and you can find my music on all streaming platforms. Apple Music, um, Spotify, Deezer, Boomplay, Audio Mac, it is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Just right. search for IOFA. You can send him a DM. Obviously, yeah. I'm, a, I'm available. So that you can make, you can be his, uh, what do you call point, of point, point of reference. Point of reference, yes. And sadly, I your fed definitely has to leave the garden. But trust us, the tea times for, we'll still be posted in the garden. So we'll be right back.